OCI, generative AI, of course, for the enterprise, that's all they do. Um, yeah, Oracle has been very active in, in generative AI. Uh, Oracle has IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS uh, offerings uh, out there. Uh, OCI is, is really the stunner on the growth rate and has pulled together some incredible customers. And man, when Gen AI first came out, they, they were just hot and heavy on, uh, on GPU capability and, and pulled in a lot of uh, credible new customers and even, uh, even PaaS providers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they're, I have to say, you know, I'm, and I, I say this every time I talk about OCI, but I'm always stunned at how quickly they move as an organization, both from a kind of innovation and just kind of being on the, on the front end of a lot of trends. Um, I, I'm, it, it's not a, it's not a kiss up. I'm not a fanboy. I just, I look at OCI and I look at, you know, kind of the legacy of Oracle from many years back and it's just such a different, it's a different company. Um, but this, this announcement um, is, yeah, they, there are, there are a few things packed in. Uh, Gen AI for the enterprise, there are, there are three elements essentially. One is um, the availability of, of, of LLMs um, for the enterprise, one from Meta, uh, Llama 2. Uh, I think it's the 70 um, billion parameter model. And then uh, Cohere, three models from Cohere. So the goal of OCI is, is this, or the goal of Oracle is this. You are a business. You know you need to use AI to make your business better but you really don't know how, you don't really know why, you don't really understand, you know, what makes all this work. So let's take away all of the kind of the, the mysticism and just provide these services that an enterprise can consume and immediately or close to immediately get up and running. So the first thing they did is they released these OCI, um, they call them uh, the generative uh, AI service, which are these large language models one that is, uh, you know, the, the Llama 2 is, is a lot more broad, but uh, the Cohere models are very enterprise focused that enable users to quickly make sense of the business data that's sitting uh, across the enterprise in HRM systems, ERP systems, you know, all of these databases that exist across the back end. That's part one. Part two, um, they're building out these, these Gen AI agents that help more quickly connect um, the the language models and the user inquiries to the back end systems. So instead of having a team of of engineers and scientists that have to go back and map all the data routes and and assure that they're working and and cure the data, let's build these agents that make it quicker. And the third thing is they're doing is creating what they call a it's a terrible name, but it's great great in concept. It's the data science AI quick actions or something along those lines. Essentially, it's a point and click simplicity to get your data science um, environment up and running. If you're looking to use um, um, Jasper or other, or not Jasper, but uh, the Jupyter or other tools for AI queries, it's a way of just point and click simplicity. Don't need to get deep down into the weeds. I can start using these tools almost immediately. I love what they're doing from the perspective of kind of Let's get the enterprise up and running easily. I love the fact that they understand that even though there's all this AI hype out there, the enterprise adoption is not mapping to the hype. And it never does, by the way, when it comes to technology trends. Um, but they're rolling out these services in a pragmatic and relevant way, right? Let's deliver relevant value to an enterprise user you know, across the organization to make sure that they can, they can leverage AI without having to make the huge investment in people, in resources and in infrastructure to, to do that. Um, that's the net of what they're doing. You know, I expect that the, the adoption of this is going to, is going to be quite strong. It, like, um, like everything they do, um, you know, they tie everything back to where they're really strong, which is data, right? They, they support everybody's data and drive everything from that. So I expect their customers are going to jump on this pretty quickly. Yeah, it was a, a uh, there I am. Hang on a second. Gosh, come on. Can't somebody in the back room get this straight? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about your right hand there? <laughs> exactly. You ever notice that? Like, okay. Uh, what was it? Uh, Wizard of Oz 
right? Yes. He was kind of behind the curtain. Who's the man behind the curtain? Yes. Right. Okay. I admit it. It's me this week. <laughs> uh, but it's not always going to be me. No, but anyways, this was a very holistic uh, thing that came out. I mean, there was OCI. Uh, there was there were there were apps. There was an OCI data science uh, AI uh, that uh, uh, Paul, you might be interested in. There was OCI integrated into Oracle database and Oracle cloud apps. Yeah. And they talked a little bit about uh, apps. Uh, looked like uh, marketing and and I didn't see ERP in that, but but uh, operations management. Uh, and things like that. So, yeah, Oracle very much in on the generative AI uh, game, and it'll be interesting to see what what these folks can do in in the future. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, fun. check out check out details in the show notes. Yeah, and Pat, Pat, I'll have a uh, blog on this. It should be going live sometime in the next couple hours. So, uh, oh we'll wow, it. man, yeah. you're on fire, buddy. I am. Hot off the presses. Ooh. That's what happens when you shave every day. There we go. No, I love that. I'll add this to OCI. Is that uh, I think they support like over a hundred languages, don't they? Uh, that's right. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good point, Paul. In the in the cohere, um, I think it's the um, I forget which one of the the models, but yeah, there's uh, support for over one hundred languages. That's another one where it's like. They just get it. You know, they get that their audience is across the globe and their audience is comprised of enterprises that perform a lot of functions from healthcare to media to, you know, to law firms, to you name it. Um, and, and they really do consider all this as they're, as they're uh, rolling these services out. So I, yes. I, I, think, I think the, uh, that no code access, they've got that quick action feature for uh, no code access to uh, the LLMs like Meta and Mr. Mm -hmm. Help out customers quite a bit. 